Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. It's Sigrush here. Today I'm very excited to announce some of the stuff that I will be working on for the uh, upcoming uh, period of time. Hopefully together with you. I'm equally pumped and terrified as you will soon discover. But um, I hope uh, it's going to be a, a good ride for, for all of us. Right, a bit of a background story on how uh, how I got here. A couple of years ago, I started working with ZBrush in a pipeline that's widely called uh, kit bashing. Uh, the main idea is that you're using parts to build uh, all kinds of different things in 3D. It's almost like a digital Lego and I was really uh, excited about that idea. At that point, I wasn't really uh, into 3D that much. I wasn't very, uh, very good at it. So for me, it was a very good method to kind of dip my toes into it, find, you know, this extra layer to, to my designs and start exploring things in a different way. I started with smaller, uh, more uh, simple things and then slowly worked my way through more complex models, uh, more uh, challenging builds uh, and things like that. And I did it for quite some time with uh, some pretty good results. It, w it felt good to be able to express all the stuff that, that would have otherwise been uh, extremely challenging to do uh, in drawing and painting. So for me, it was a very good way to, to showcase uh, some things that I had on my mind. So let's talk about the project. Uh, I've had this thing in the back of my head for quite some time, a few years, uh, and I've always wanted to start working on it uh, the proper way, do it the, the right way, uh, not that one. Um, and now I think uh, I'm finally at a place where I can at least give it a, a strong uh, shot. Uh, we've had some failed attempts in the past. I tried this before with a friend uh, who really wanted to try and help, but ultimately my meshes were too bad to, to be uh, controlled in any way. They were beyond salvaging. So this time I'm going to uh, start from scratch, you know, begin anew. The main idea is that I'm going to be modeling my quirky ships, my shuttles, my fighters, my uh, aircraft uh, conundrums, my uh, ground vehicles, all of that stuff, which I'm uh, geeked out about. I love aviation, I love um, uh, heavy machinery, I love uh, heavy industry, I love all this kind of stuff. It gets me excited, so it's something that I'm genuinely happy to work on. And I'm going to be modeling these uh, in Blender. I've recently picked it up. I'm extremely fresh. Um, I'm a, quite a bit of a noob uh, in terms of Blender but I've managed to pick up just enough to, to make me feel uh, comfortable to try this. Um, so you can see here uh, my, my very first um, Blender model. It's got a ton of issues, um, but uh, it was a learning one. And here uh, you can see uh, the model that I'm currently working on. It's my second Blender model. And this one is already being done for the project. So, as I mentioned before, with ZBrush, there wasn't anything wrong with that pipeline um, in terms of the enjoyment of it or, you know, the results that, that would come out of it necessarily. So, what I intend to do is, as I'm modeling all this stuff in Blender, I'm going to break it down and use those parts and take them back to ZBrush and essentially create a loop where I model more things, I get more of my own parts, I take them back, back to ZBrush and then I can kit bash over there. So you might be wondering why would I want to go back to ZBrush at all if I have all the meshes here and you know I could pretty much do the same thing in Blender. For me personally the answer is speed. I can block in a fast vehicle, uh, throw around a quick idea during the lunch break and then go back and uh, 
you know, fix some of the parts or adjust some of the parts that I broke, uh, let's say, along the way. So it's going to be a bit of a back and forth uh, between uh, ZBrush and Blender for the uh, upcoming time. So this will allow me to expand this library of, of items that I'm able to use within my own designs. Um, the second part of the project, which is by far the more the more challenging for me is the fact that I want to take all this stuff into Unreal. Uh, I did a test a long time ago with uh, this buggy where I took it into Unreal. I found a cool vehicle blueprint and I managed to make it drivable. And I was just driving my own buggy around on an empty map and it just felt great. It felt like this was the, the pinnacle of expressing a, an idea, right? Making it interactive in some way. And for me, it just felt absolutely great. So I definitely want to do that again. So initially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create, uh, I guess, a small airfield uh, in Unreal with a couple of, couple of structures and then slowly expand on that and see where it takes me. I wanted to be created in such a way that if somebody goes through it, it would have uh, an expo area, so a pavilion essentially, where you can see the sketches, some of the concept art, some of the work in progress shots of what you're inside of. So it's a bit meta in a way. And then after you've seen all these uh, work in progress shots and uh, clips and things like that from from working on that, uh, you can just head out to the airfield, uh, get in the spaceship and just fly around, maybe have a bit of, of fun. It's going to be extremely uh, difficult for me because frankly, today, I don't know how to do any of the stuff that I've been telling you about, but that's what makes it exciting for me uh, right now. So um, I'm going to be discovering a lot of new things, a lot of ways to do new things, and I will be uh, sharing them with you. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to be uh, uploading around once each week, uh, posting up progress. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.